Hello, hello, my name is Amy. I am a second semester nursing student over at College of the Desert, and I am going to be doing a tutorial on the iHuman by Kaplan. So this is the email that you'll get from iHuman support. It's going to give you a link to set up your password, which is located right here, and then it's going to give you the link for the home page that you can add to your favorites. So once you set up your password, the home page will look like this. So you'll put in your email address, and then your password, and then this is going to be uh, your login homepage. So from here, you can contact support if you need help, which is right over here in your right hand, the bottom right hand corner. So if you click that, it will take you to a page that looks like this. If you scroll down to the bottom, which this is where it's at, so this is actually the top, it's going to give you common um, common questions and then if you still don't have your answer you're going to fill out this form and um, support tech support will contact you so go back to your if you went back to your home screen you would go to assignments which is in your upper left hand corner you'd click on assignments and it will take you to this page so this will give you all of the assignments that are due if you log I'm sorry, if you scroll down, you will see your future assignments and when those due dates are. We're going to start with Mr. Robert Jones. So you'll press the green arrow to play to start your attempt. My patient is getting ready, people. So this is Mr. Robert Jones. He's a 52-year-old male, gives you his um, height and his weight. So you will press start, and it's going to take you to his EHR. So in his EHR, you're, you're able to look at all of these tabs, um, orders, nurse notes, care plans, his medications, and um, go through all of these and any abnormal findings or findings that you feel are significant, you're going to write them down in the left hand uh, column. So you can type here and then press enter and it will give you a new note. Uh, make sure that you write down anything that you feel is important to this patient's case. Once you've done that, you're going to click next EHR findings and a warning will come up that says that you can no longer go back to this, um, this tab. So like I said, make sure you have all of the information that you think is important written down on the left, uh, the left column so that you can refer back to it because the next step it's going to ask you questions about what you thought was important. So then you'll just click yes. So this is your next, um, the next set of questions. After you reviewed his EHR, what did you find to be important? So I'm just going to guess here because I haven't actually done this case. Go through this. So it'll give you your green bubbles are what you got correct. Your X is what you didn't choose at all. And then, or I'm sorry, your X is what, the red X is what you chose that is not correct. And then the yellow X is what you were missing. Pretty self-explanatory. So you'll move on to the next, which is your history. So you can hear him breathing, which that's where you're gonna count your respiratory rate. To turn that off, you're just going to click the speaker at the left-hand corner above the patient. That will turn it off. Now, for your history, I have a tip for you. Pretend like you did not read anything in the EHR. Use the EHR as guidance. So say that you know that Mr. Jones had a left hip replacement two weeks ago. Pretend like you don't know that information. So go into this history as a blank slate. Ask all pertinent information. Um, starting with your nurse introduction. So don't forget this. Okay, so my battery is, was about to die. Rookie move. I know, I know. Anyways, um, where was I? So make sure that you do your nurse introduction because you will get deducted points if you forget to do your nurse introduction. So 
just pretend like this was one of your patients. You'd walk in, introduce yourself, ask them name, date of birth, any allergies. Um, and again, like I was saying, pretend that you don't know any other information about this patient. So go through these questions and ask anything you would normally ask to a patient that just walked right into an emergency room because you may think that you know something because you saw it on the EHR, but then it's going to dock you points for not asking that same question. So like I said, just make sure you ask all pertinent information. There are sections in here that you can skip like pediatrics. This is not a pediatric patient, so you don't even have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, there is, again, other stuff that you can skip that is not uh, pertinent to, to this patient. You can get hints right here, your bottom left screen, the left hand, it's not really the corner, but at the bottom of the screen, get um, history hints. You can do that as well. So you do have to make notes for each section. So you do that and then you'll move on. Yes, I know. So then you'll choose what you thought was important and key to this patient's case. And then you're going to compare it with an expert. So I didn't get any correct. So next to your physical. So with your physical, again, you would do your resp respiratory rate. You can unmute him and get your respiratory rate from that. For your blood pressure, you're gonna go over to this icon here. Um, it's the sphygmomanometer. You're gonna click on that. And to get blood pressure, you'll choose right or left arm. We're gonna do right arm since he has an IV in his left arm. And then you just click on the pump to pump it up. And then you'll release it by clicking once here. Now that is not the heartbeat. That is. You hear the difference? I learned that the hard way. I wasn't sure what was the heart rate and what wasn't because you can kind of hear that. Um, the, I guess you can say, I don't know. Anyways, so you'll do that. You'll get your um, pulse rate by feeling for your pulses, which is down in here. You're going to inspect any, if he has any drains, any lines, any airway, any airway help, you'll do that. So he does have an IV site, so you're going to assess your IV site. Um, make any notes. If that was abnormal, you would put a note over to your left-hand side. You'll go through all of these and see if there's anything that you feel is important um, to do for uh, this patient's physical. I would suggest just doing the bare minimum in each subject. So like your neck, uh, your lymphatic system, obviously listen to the, the lungs and the heart sounds. Um, but again, just do at least the bare minimum in each section so that you get points for actually asking. Sometimes you don't have to ask, but it's better to ask than to not ask and then get a deduction because you didn't ask the right questions. With this patient, you do have to do uh, another set of questions, which is right here under physical. So it will take you here, it'll ask you some questions, you'll answer them, and then that's the only way you'll be able to move on to the next, um, the next set of questions that you need to fill out for your, I believe it's your analysis. So I've answered all my questions in this physical portion. I do need to make a note to the left side in order for it to let me move on. So I'll move on to my findings. I'm going to say what my most important or key information was. I can choose as many as I want or as little as I want. Compare with an expert. I did make one choice. Hypotension. So again, it's going to give you what you missed, what you got incorrect, and what you got correct. You're going to move on to the analyze step. 
Now this step is a little bit confusing. This patient doesn't look like he has any um, of the same diagnoses under any of the other categories, but you will find that sometimes your patients will have um, an EHR diagnosis. Let's say it's dyspnea. So you'll have it under EHR, but then you'll also have it under present history um, or a present condition as dyspnea. So it gets a little bit confusing on what to choose, whether you choose them both as an acute problem or you choose one as a no change problem and one as an acute problem. So if you understand this portion a little bit more, go ahead and leave a comment so you can help us who are struggling um, understand exactly what they're looking for. Um, again, so you would go through these expert findings and choose what you think they are, whether it's acute, no change, resolved, resolving, or worsening. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose acute for all of these and then compare. Yes. So then we move on. So for each problem, you're going to choose what it correlates with. So let's just say a patient was having um, chest pain. You could go under perfusion and choose that as your, um, what it's correlating with. Um, you can Let's choose this patient had um, signs of an infection. You can choose that as one of your problems. So I'm just going to just choose a whole one thing for everything to show you. I don't think any of these will be right, but that's okay. So then it'll give you your expert feedback. So then from here, you're gonna choose what is your priority diagnosis. So out of comfort, perfusion, safety, and activity, which one is the most important? Obviously, you're gonna go with your ABCs. And with that being said, you're gonna choose your perfusion. That is your most important um, diagnosis. And sometimes it's gonna ask you to rate them. So instead of just having one box here, it'll have two, maybe even three. So then you'll have to take from what you have over on your left hand column and put it in order of importance on your right hand column in the right hand column so we'll compare with an expert yes all righty so then we're going to go to our actions so from here you're going to choose one of these so see this is your patient refuses scds at the time so this is going to give you options of what you can do um, with that diagnosis so would you communicate educate give them um, tell them why the scds are important that can that's an option so you just go through all of these and choose what your action would be to each one of those diagnoses just say I don't know I'm just gonna choose and oh also some of these may not even have an action to take so you may choose something for every one of these but then when you compare to an expert the expert didn't have any actions to some of these diagnoses so let's see if this is one of those cases so he did actually have an action to every diagnosis. But again, sometimes you'll find that the expert didn't put anything for um, calf cramping or whatnot, just for future reference. So then you're going to prioritize these, whether they be stat, urgent, or routine. I'm just going to choose all these as stat. And then you'll compare that with an expert. So this is every this is how you're getting your points is making sh is um, every time that you have a correct answer, obviously you're going to get uh, more points. So you want to be as in line with the expert as possible. So this is your nursing notes. So my tip for this is to write down all your pertinent information that you found before. So it's kind of like your SBAR, your situation, your background, your assessment, and your recommendations. Um, I hope you enjoyed my more in-depth tutorial for iHuman by Kaplan. Good luck, guys. You've got this. Give yourself some grace. It's not the easiest system to learn. Good luck.